Alright ladies, our lesson continues for musical instruments with the piano room. Come in, flood it. Now, singing and playing piano at the same time is a big bonus. So, when you girls come up, if any of you want to sing, that is perfectly okay. You might even get extra credit for singing, if you sing well. Now, who would like to go first? I will go. Perfect! A great example for our first start. Who are you? Oh, I'm the organ tuner. Um, if the organ is out of tune, I tune it. Ah. Uh, let me play now. Thank you. Oh, that was just gorgeous. Everyone should follow her example. Now, just come up and continue on. Random Insanity, invented by me and my cousin Alfred. Um, is the organ tuned? Let me check. Yes, quite tuned. Um, okay. Wasn't it just like beautiful? Uh, a plus, darling, A plus. <gasps> really? Thanks. Good job. Thanks. Alright, I think that's everybody. Um, Eva, you forgot Miri. No, I don't want to go. She just blow anyway. Yeah, she totally ruined the moment of pure epicness. Yes, let's not have Miri make our ears bleed. Oh, come on, Miri, get up there. Sorry. Ugh, it's alright. Fine, I will go. Now, did that blow? Can we go to our room now? Yes, girls, lessons are over. You may go. Finally. Move it! Ah! Come on, Mary. You did great. Yeah, totally. Thanks, guys. Wow, that Mary girl is something, right? Shut up. I don't really see what you have against her. It seems like nothing. I mean, you just met her, right? Yeah, you could say that. Why? Do you know something? What is it your place to ask? Get! Uh, I'm sorry, madam. Thank you. Oh, um, I'm bleeding. Um, I'll go to the, the nurse. I will make sure with all my power that Miri will never become princess. Even if I have to get my feathers dirty. I did not just hear that. Guess what? What? So you know how the prince's ball is tomorrow, and that's when he gets a peek of who might be his wife? Yeah? Well, 
I was thinking maybe we should lock Miri in a closet. Oh, that's good! Yeah, I know. And then, I'll get the romantic dance with the prince. Or me. Probably me. Uh, me! Me! like wild animals. You're just a servant. Ugh. Are you okay? Ugh. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yes. You know, I think you should stay away from her. She doesn't seem like a very good friend. Nah, she's a great friend. It's just, she's really passionate about what she wants. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see. Ugh, my mouth is bleeding again. Sorry, gotta go to the nurses. Bye. Bye. I know, and I was like, what? And then there was like, <gasps> Whoa! What is this? Surprise, future princesses! <laughs> Hi, I'm Jenny, I'm your new personal decorator. And Madam Evas told me so hard how you guys are working. So, I redecorated your rooms, gave you new beds, all to Eva's request. She got you each personalized sets of beds. Now, enjoy! Have fun! Oh, by the way, there's notes in the beds to see who's is who's. from cotton. Mine has a balcony. Oh my gosh. Mine has a cute mailbox. Oh, look at it. Loving this. Loving, loving, loving it. Ow. Ah, <sighs> pink silk satin sheets that smell like roses. Ah, <sighs> this feels good. Great. We're cramped in a stupid bed and all we have for comfort is electric blankets. Hey, I didn't even know they could come up with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's all right, isn't it? Rachel, uh, you guys, Ashley, don't you guys get it? She's trying to make us quit. She like wants us out of this school. I think it's mostly you. For some reason, she seems to hate you a lot. I know, that's what confuses me. I don't understand why. I've never met her before. You don't know anyone named Eva? Well, my dad had a friend named Eva, but that was like when he was a teenager. I hardly doubt this would be the Eva he's talking about. He said that she was a nice, kind, beautiful, spirited woman who went out of her way to help anybody. That is the complete opposite of Eva. All right, well, I guess we should go to bed. It's curfew. <sighs> Glasses. Okay. Oh gosh. I can't get in this stupid bed. There. Dad? Oh. Oh. Great. <laughs> it's hidden behind the crack of my bed. Nobody's gonna notice a thing. <sighs> oh yeah, today's gonna be the prince's ball. <sighs> He's so gonna love me. Now I just gotta find out a way to get Mary in the closet. I have the perfect plan. Uh, better get back to sleep. Might be a couple hours before dawn hits. <sighs> then it's time to get ready. Hey y'all! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Is this zombie apocalypse? What? Ugh. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! Did I scare you? No. Hope you didn't 
and break my glasses. Hey, where'd my glasses go? Glasses, where'd you go? Oh my crap, I lost my glasses. What do I do? Rachel, Rachel, are you there? Um, Ashley, it's me, Mary. Oh, Grandma? It's Rachel, you dork. Uh-oh, somebody lost their glasses. Oh well. Good morning. Can you see very well? No, not very well. Great, well, um, we'll do your best to get new glasses for you, okay? Okay. So Eva also assigned me to be your assistant for getting ready for the ball tonight. Yippee! <laughs> Rainbows and butterflies. Okay, children, so do whatever you want today, just as long as it's related to getting ready for the ball. <laughs> okay, bye! What's wrong, Mickey? Hey, what's up? Uh oh, I'm getting a migraine from her speaking. Oh yeah, you need some new glasses. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I think I have some spare in my room. Let me go get them. Here it is! Um, that's a bottle of vodka. My mistake! Sorry! Here are the real glasses. <laughs> you guys don't need to shave your beards. Um, are you drunk? No, <laughs> no. Ow! Try on the glasses. Do they fit? Whoa. So trippy. What? What do we look like? Well, it's kind of yellowish, but black and white. You know, I think I'd rather be blind as a bat than glasses. <laughs> Alright, if you think you can make it through a dance, uh, I'll do my best. Alright, let's get ready. Wait, wait for me, sire. Dad. Son, come hither. Oh, um, son. Father is deathly ill. Our healers have done everything they can, but his death is coming soon. I don't know when. Mom, don't say such a thing. The Dad will be all right, won't he? Won't he, Krogers? I'm I'm not sure, sir. Um, it, he could be. Don't say could. He's gonna be all right. Son, come to me. Oh, Krogers, you can go back to your quarters now. Thank you, milady. What's up, Dad? Son, you know that the royal ball is tonight. Yes, Dad, I know the royal ball. What about it? I will be dead soon. <coughs> Listen, you must find a bride so you can take over when your mother comes <coughs> of age. Which is coming very soon. Excuse me? I'm not old. Honey, sorry. Listen, please, find a bride. Dad, Dad! I'm fine, I'm fine. <coughs> Just please go find a bride. I promise, Dad, as your dying wish. Son, let your father rest. Please, go get ready for the ball. It's in four hours. Yes, Mom. How are you feeling, honey? <coughs> Better. Do you know what caused me to be sick? Oh, I'm sorry, no. Here. Drink some more of my tea. How do you feel? Milady, I think you should let the king rest. Right away. <laughs> It'll only take a bit longer for my potion to make him completely dead. Then all I have to do is get rid of my son and his bride-to-be, and the kingdom will forever be mine. Nobody will be able to stop me. <laughs> Oh, gotta work on that.